Let's see what Rose has next for me. Let's see what Rose has next for me. Glasses. Damn. The embers are fancy as shit. Let's see what Rose has next for me. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Find James, see what he wants to drink. Got it. Something out. What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah. Let's say sharing. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. And you were all too eager to play into our expectations. In my experience, that's a tactic people use to cover for someone else. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks?
There's no puzzle to which swords isn't the solution. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Pass the ketchup. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Sherry glass. Sherry glass? Yeah, I'm in way over my head here. Uh... It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Gotta put down this fancy. Hi, Rose. Your husband's cheating on you. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? <laughs> You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to light some candles and... Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. Time to fix this photo. Got it. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No. That's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. 
After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you. As long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel! Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad! You're a hypocrite! Okay? I know! You lying, cheating, piece of shit, motherfucker! Excuse me? We saw you. Yesterday. At the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other wo- That's enough! You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying! Stop being a politician for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw... That wasn't my mistress. That was your mother. Shadows settle on the place that you left our minds are troubled by the emptiness Destroy the middle, it's a waste of time From the perfect start to the finish line 
And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones. Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs, setting fire to our insides for fun, collecting names of the lovers that went wrong, the lovers that went wrong. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah. Your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends, 
Sarah was everyone's favorite. <laughs> Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Enough for her. while the rest of us were pursuing college. Careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything. Even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. Not after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. 
and she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. I mean, people change, right? Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. <laughs> Rachel, I think I need to lie down. can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Wonder what James is thinking right now. Uh, um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? You have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. <laughs> I... I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah. But Rachel's not a baby anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Chloe, I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, 
put my daughter's safety first. Maybe try the truth for a change? What do you mean? Well, you did lie to your daughter for 15 years. This is true. And that's why I need your help. I only care about Rachel, Chloe. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. Rachel took that pretty hard. I should see if she's okay. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway, door to the left of the fridge. Graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this. Mrs. Amber, could I have this? Oh, sure, Chloe. Rachel was going to give it away anyhow. Thanks. Here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. I'm glad, too. You've had to cope with much worse, I know. I'm grateful Rachel has someone as strong as you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. I guess I'm not great. Rachel and I were really happy a few hours ago, and now... Maybe you can see why James wanted to keep this a secret. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Doesn't matter how painful it is. You don't lie to someone you love. You might be right, but 
can any of us really know what we would do in his situation? He's been a devoted father for 15 years. I know he loves Rachel more than anything. I'm surprised you're defending him after what he did at the Overlook. It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. You're welcome to stay here as long as you need to. I should check on Rachel. It's so weird to look at this now. I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. <laughs> 